Good afternoon, I'm Justin Fisher. Here are some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Warrants have been issued for three people in connection to the shooting death of 17 year old Corlin Jones. That happened outside of a hookah lounge. Those three are Darius McGee, Dominic Jordan and DeAndre Reed. Well, McGee is charged with murder in the first degree. All three, though, are charged with possession of a gun after a former felony conviction. Two Tulsa police officers are on administrative leave after a shooting Wednesday night. Just before 10 o'clock, officers responded to a domestic call near 7th in Toledo. Police say a woman described a conflict with her brother ultimately wanted to get an emergency protective order. Officers say that a man stopped his SUV about a block away from them, then hit the gas heading straight for them. While well, two officers started shooting, while well, he was taken to a hospital after being hit, or is treated and released into police custody facing multiple charges, including assault with a deadly weapon and domestic assault and battery. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office is thanking multiple agencies for their help bringing 36 year old Andres Arenas into custody. He's accused of using social media to send graphic and lewd messages to someone he thought was a young girl. Tulsa County says he also reportedly tried to get the girl to send him photos. He faces five charges related to the incidents. All right, let's get over to meteorologist Annie Brown for a look at that forecast on this Friday. Annie. Thankfully, the rain chances are out of here for today. The sun has returned. Soak it up while we have it. We are seeing those uh, chances about 20% for Saturday. Outside of that, Moral Weekend is looking fantastic. Showers do start to uh, fire up again Tuesday into Wednesday, and we'll see those increasing chances. In terms of those temperatures, really pleasant overall into those 80s where we should be for this time of the year. Thankfully, that humidity won't be creeping back into the forecast until tomorrow, so take full advantage of today. Let's talk about this quick hitting system that we'll be pushing through early tomorrow morning, bringing in some light precipitation.